If you change the launcher on your Nvidia Shield TV to a custom launcher and want to change it back to the original launcher using a Windows computer, keep watching. We're basically going to reactivate all of the system launcher files on the Nvidia Shield to restore the default launcher. Let's get started. First, go to settings on the top right corner. Go to device preferences. Go to about and go down to build. Click on it seven times to launch the developer mode. You should see a message, you are now a developer. Now go back to device preferences and go down to developer options. Go down to network debugging and turn it on. Wait until an IP address appears and write down the full IP address. We will need this later. Now switch over to your computer and download the SDK platform tools for Windows. I'll have all the download links in the description box. Scroll down, accept the terms, and download the file. Once it's finished, you'll need to extract the file. You can double click or right click the file and extract it. I'm going to extract it to the downloads folder. Once it's done, go to the folder. You should see a folder called Platform Tools. Move this folder to your C drive. You can copy and paste it to your C drive or you could just drag and drop it to your C drive. Now open Control Panel. And on the top right corner, search for Environment Variables. Click on edit environment variables for your account. And under the variable column, look for path, highlight it and hit edit. Now hit new. You'll need to add the full path for the platform tools folder, which we moved to the C drive. So it should be C colon backslash platform hyphen tools and hit OK and hit OK. Now run command prompt. Enter ADB space connect followed by the full IP address from the NVIDIA Shield we obtained earlier. And press enter. You should see a failed message. Go back to your NVIDIA Shield and you should see an allow network debugging pop-up. Hit OK. Now go back to your computer and make sure you're connected. Enter ADB space connect followed by the full IP address. And press enter. It should say we're connected. Now we're going to copy and paste four lines of code into a command prompt, which will reactivate the default launcher. All of the lines of code will be in the description box. So copy and paste the first code and hit enter. Copy and paste the second code and hit enter. Copy and paste the third code 
and hit enter. And finally, copy and paste the fourth code and hit enter. And that's it. You should see the default system launcher on your Nvidia Shield TV now. Thanks for watching.